The opening day of the Billabong Rio Pro went down in a big way, finishing all 12 heats of the round in some exciting conditions at Baja Tijuca. Started with the trials, our winner, Ricardo Dos Santos, getting a couple backhand tubes. Ricardo Dos Santos, we've seen so much of him uh, barrel riding on his forehand, but today he got his pig dog on and found the uh, exit on some clamping pits. Into the main event once again for Dos Santos and the California kid, Pat Gadowskis, found himself victorious for the first time this season in the opening round. Oh, so stoked to see Pat Gadowskis get straight on through to round number three, and he had a good showing in that first round. A nice solid hit there to finish that ride. Adriana D'Souza, one of the favorites, took off on an insane take off, still was able to pack the tube and it was his heat from the get-go took a big win and off to round three he does so well to deal with all the expectation and pressure of being the favorite and just delivers here with a very strong showing in the first round clean finishing move here an interesting factor in this heat though Yade nickel taking a weird angle on this wipeout ends up kind of messing up his back you see him grabbing it right there so he's gonna have that tendon to and hopefully he'll come back fighting in round two, Sebastian Zietz from Kauai packed this one. Solid performance in the barrel. He's got a training ground at home, uh, not too dissimilar to this wave here at Baja da Tijuca, a, a rifling barrel, but here is Mick Fanning, a strong showing from Mick in the first round. Tube-time Brazilian champ. He said it was pretty difficult to find the waves. He made it look easy, then passed the torch over to the world champ, Joel Parkinson, with a beautiful roundhouse cutback. He made it look effortless as well. Joel has just been uh, on point since well, the start of 2012, basically, just another great showing from him. Typically strong, Parko just powering through the round three. Kelly Sater showed up, went for the thruster, and started running after some cool little tube sections. Nice small one on the inside here, but looked really electric. That board looks really magical under his feet. Got a little bit bigger one here, and got one of the highlights of the day so far. Yeah, one of the highest scoring single uh, rides there from Kelly, an 8.9 on that wave. Then Micro, Glenn Hall, made a decision to sit out the back, got a roll in here, and got a couple of big hooks on the back end. No one had sat out in the back on that peak yet at that point of the day. Yeah, Glenn Hall getting his first uh, heat win as a World Tour competitor. Then Gabriel Medina, looking sharp, ended up getting a 9.77 in this heat. He was back to the form we expected him to be in. Now maybe quickly moving into one of our top picks for a win here. All interested to see how Gabriel uh, would perform with that nagging ankle injury, and he just didn't look like uh, he was troubled at all in this first round matchup. Clean finish there. Nat Young then had a pretty tactically sharp heat. So got a roll in out the back and got a couple of big hooks that make the difference in this heat. Got in the seven range and then was able to put it to bed with a 4.0 to clean this one out and get another good victory into round three. The Californian on fire. Absolutely, and then it was Adam Melling who just ducked under the lip on his opening ride for a 9.57. Couldn't find the backup though. This man, he shut the gate with a couple of big scores. Jordy's here is looking great so far. If he can keep throwing out big rotations like that. Covered a lot of ground in the lineup and it came down to the wire just to get a solid score to come back. This is one of the greatest waves of the day so far. Huge finish to close that one out. Jordy on fire into day two. Yeah, heat score total of 16.94 for Jordy Smith, second highest of the day. Lee Durbage, he's uh, really fought his way back into form in 2013. Nice little wrap there from Durbo. He got the jump on Michelle Berez in a pretty close battle. Yeah, interesting one here. Wasn't tubing anymore, so he just had to start catching waves and started getting his momentum building, and he is off into the next one. And then we had our final heat, and it was the young superstar from California, Kolohe Andino, getting his second opening round win of his career. Kolohe Andino, expecting a big year from him. He's looking really sharp. Pretty epic day. Let's see what happens in round two tomorrow.